Well, hello everyone, Smithy here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. We're on Jurassic World again because of the time it's taken to update my cinema. And uh, yeah, and thankfully we've got a full cinema now. It's just a little bit of uh, alterations to do inside. And thank you again to Darklight Super who uh, provided the underground section. And he's also done some uh, restrooms. So at the back corner over there behind my head, I'm going to put in a restroom. And then I'm going to do the pathway over to the Mosasaurus Arena. And then we're going to put some trees in here and do the pathway at the park at the back. And there's a pathway over there as well. So that's what we're going to do this episode. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is... That's funny. Uh, I'm going to put in the... Uh, rest room over in the far corner and then come back so we've now managed to get the rest room in the back as well which is pretty easy to, it's actually it's very good because it actually matches up which is pretty good because this is the retaining wall for the uh, to go downstairs to the cinema and literally it's quite easy to do and uh, it's gone in really well it was it was actually made the opposite way but there we go, and if I just fill that in there, it looks part of the, doesn't actually look a separate bit now. There we go, in fact, what we might have, I think, yeah, I can get rid of that. That's like the final bit there, and then it goes around the back, so it actually looks like one block. So anyway, inside, messed up a little, but you'll see what I mean. Let's go back in here, I need some slabs. So, there are the gates, and down here, Oh, I've really messed up. In fact, that's all right because what I can do is make this a little bit. Yeah, it was because I had to get it the same level. It was one level down. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. Now, I haven't done that for ages, have we? Let's get back to the e toggle down for turn that rain on. There we go. That'll stop raining now. Uh, yeah, it has. So I can do what I can do. See, it's very cleverly. I just get rid of this, and you won't know any difference. And then step down into this because that's the other thing that happens usually. There we go. Hey, there we go. It's a bit of a, a bit of a sort of a, an area down. So if we're clever, what I will do is uh, leave that at that level like that and then sort of have it there we go and then step down like so which is quite way remember that underneath there we go so we can go down to the restroom so let's just show you inside rather than just do this because I can do this in a minute it's very easy to redo uh, yeah Dark Light Super asking me whether he gets a shout out from the last video. Of course you do, yeah, fantastic. Anyway, uh, oh, that's not what we want there. So there, we need to just bring this down. Ah, uh, right, okay. So maybe I want it to look the same. So I will have to leave that like that. So we will bring that like so. And then, in fact, yeah, that's right. So you can see the restrooms now. So let's just go in and show you the restrooms again because they're all right. Everything else is in here. Look. Oh, it's not copied. <gasps> I'm going to have to put new toilets in. It's not copied them across. Whoa. Oh, wow. They're different. No, they can't be different. What's well, sad. Here's the men. So I'm going to have to put and re put them in. Right. So I'm going to do the flooring here, guys. And uh, then I shall just come back. I'll sort that out and put the toilets in. And we'll come back. So uh, the restrooms have been done. Why? The only thing I haven't done is like a like a get snacks and that. Maybe we put that over there. So come and have a look at the restrooms. They're all finished. Step down. Le the women. Here we go. Uh, I like. Oh, you need to have water source under the block. <gasps> oh, that's why there's a noise. Uh, oh, can I do that, I wonder? Oh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, that's no... Oh, it's got wool. Oh, dear. That's not going to work. Never mind. <laughs> Get some wool. 
uh, wool, 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 wool. There we go. So we have to have water source, which I can't do for that. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Uh, oh, well, I've got the right one. Hold on. Uh, no, I didn't get the right one. Right, let's go back. Must be the dark grey. There we go. So, sadly. I wonder if, if you, I suppose, yeah, I'm not going to put water source under there. Never mind. Anyway, they're there. But uh, they all look pretty good. And there's only, obviously, you've got to have the furniture mod installed to see this when you come to download the world, which is not quite ready yet. We're not quite ready. But there you go. Oh, does that do something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a bit too much, that is, for me. I can't cope with all that. Right. Okay, so now we need to go and do the outside. I'll do that in between. I uh, might do it now, actually. Pro probably This is probably the best place to put a counter. Yeah, a counter for selling all the yummy, yummy drinks and sweets. Well, uh, sometimes I think we get ripped off, but there we go. Yeah, we do get ripped off. Oh, there we go. So we just need to put some cabinets in the back, and then we're finished. I'll come back and do a bit of a tour at the end, but because we're going to go outside and do the trees. So what I'm going to do is going to import some trees. Remember, I started importing trees over there, some specialist trees. I'm going to import some new trees into the back of here. But first of all, I need to go and have a look at the layout and we need to put the paths down. Once I put the paths down, uh, I can sort of sort it out. Oh, it also looks like I need to do the glass. I need to do this bit all the way around to there as well. So I'm going to go and have a look at the uh, pictures to see and then we'll come back. Well, welcome back. No pathways yet, but I have spent some a bit of time putting in some new trees. So what I've decided to do is do the big ones first. And I've used a selection of trees to go all the way around here. You can see these here. They just literally slot in uh, across the way. So what I did is once I started, I've got to put the pathway in through here. That's going to be quite easy to do, to be honest. It's uh, The pathway as well is going to be the same type of pathway as this over here. So it's quite interesting. And this really cool thing is the fact that this here is an access road. And the access road goes down here. However, and then goes off, uh, goes off up here. But problem being, this is obviously where we built on the back. At the back... The visitors can walk all the way down the back of here, then come round and underneath and, and back round here. And there's literally a, an access bridge here and the public can't get in and they have to walk under the bridge. So I've got to be use a bit of poetic license in terms of that. So it's going to be a bit fun. Uh, right over here, we have also put a load of trees in as well. So you can see these. So you can see these trees over here. I've started in putting trees in all around the back of the monorail. So that looks pretty good there. And then as you come round here, I've actually started putting the trees all the way around by the pool area as well. So starting to decorate them out uh, so it looks a lot better. Yes, yeah, so you can see it's starting to take shape. I know a lot of you asked me about the trees and how we put them in, uh, but this is actually quite easy to start doing lots of trees together. So I need to go and get some different trees, smaller ones, but I put the basic ones in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start doing some of the roads. Uh, there is the wall that goes all the way around the back of here as well, carries on. So it's sort of, there's a wall that finishes there and then there's a wall that goes all the way down the back of there with some trees it roughly is around about there all the way back down there so i'm going to do a few pathways and then i'll come back so welcome back everybody uh, we've done a bit of wall building and changing the scenery around here flattened a load of stuff over there and i've started putting in the walk i've got to do a bit more but i want to show you the plan so what we've got is we've got vehicle access which is not available to the people which is this pathway here which is access road for the trucks 
uh, and machinery and whatever they want to bring apart. And that access road goes into the... Well, it should go across there, but let me just show you something. Uh, but it's going to go into here, into the yard at the back of the uh, T-Rex Kingdom. Oh, I did that by accident. Look, I've got to refill that in. Uh, the walkway that comes round the back of the cinema. So we've got this little park that's on the map and it shows you on the film this park which comes around here. Nice place to just relax and comes around. And it shows on the, I've got the Industrial Light and Magic, it shows the pathway which comes across the front and round to the Mosasaurus arena. It shows another pathway that comes round the outer perimeter wall of the T-Rex Kingdom and then of course it shows this middle pathway here. Now we haven't got enough room because on the the real map uh, there is like this pathway would carry on all the way over there and round the back but because we have this stairway here this is like the secret entrance around the side into the Mosasaurus arena over here what was that in there? Did you see that? Must have been just disappearing. <laughs> uh, which is the viewing area for the Mosasaurus Arena over here. Hmm. Oh my lord. I've just realised. Of course. We extend, oh, I remember now, we extended it out on the map to make it go further. I'd completely forgotten that we'd done that uh, on the Mosasaurus Arena. So this set of steps here. Ah, uh, there's a second one. That's the real one. So, we, of course, we moved the Mosasaurus Arena over to fit this map. So, this is not required. Ah, so. But what I could do is just have an access route there and then carry it around. So, I'm going to. Anyway, on the, when the, the, uh, we get the Demorphodon attack and you see all the guys shooting, you can see, if you freeze frame it, you can see it looks this way. Behind that you can just make out the this entrance here which goes off for the trucks then you can make out like some pillars here this is the first pillar second pillar i'm going to do a third pillar here literally do it here because it sort of makes sense to have a pillar here just to sort of make the gateway to the mosasaurus arena because it does show people running past this which is like a like a like it's like a gift shop or something and running past down here so i'm going to put that in now that i know that's there I don't, really that's all right i'm just going to leave it like that and that's so we're going to i'm going to make a double a long entrance wow so interesting enough on the map there's loads of rocks here so what i intend to do is leave the wall there build the glass wall all the way across the front to meet the mosasaurus arena and have two entrances to the viewing area because if you think about it it'd be really cool to have a two viewing areas like this is the viewing area which goes across oh of course it goes down i just realized did i do yes because i extended it all ways that's what i did i just realized uh, that goes under the centre fence that used to have the monorail there, but uh, I, I know I have to fix this on this side. There's just a bit of a... it's only this bit here, look. Uh, I just have to fix that a little bit to stop the water coming in. I thought I did. That's, that's quite easy to do. Uh, it's just this bit here, so I need to put some glass there. So I need to do that. So that's what happened when I extended the lake out and didn't come back to have a look at it. But what it means is we can have an extra large viewing area all I need to do is like make if I leave the strut so sort I've of got the old bit there and that is the new bit that I cut and paste in as well so I could actually do the double 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 area that's cool that's cool I like that I like that it's a bit of a thing and then you've got access under there that is worked out really well because yeah, I thought it was, wasn't it? So that's it. I've never remembered that when I did the map cutting. Uh, right, that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is going to do some more work on this. I'm going to. I think I will, I do, will do is put the rocks across here, which have the garden. I need to put the actual pathways in. This 
grey pathway literally finishes at that gate there and everything else from this point on is sandstone which is like the pathways at the back of there uh, and I'm going to leave, what I think I might do is leave this as the tarmac because then that will match that once I do it. It's going to take a bit of time now because I'm going to have to like do it piecemeal. So what I'll do is do some work on it and then we'll come back and show you how that is progressing. Oh, I thought I'd show you just this little trick here. See down here, there's a, there's a rock cluster on the uh, map, but uh, I haven't put any rocks there yet. I have put in, using MC Edit, a load of sand. Uh, let's go and down and have a look. Should uh, And the sand is just floating in the top. And the idea is that we knock one and it drops, although it's not dropping as fast as I thought it would. Like if I hit that. Hey, there we go, which gives the impression of some sort of rocks. <laughs> but uh, let's just we just try that. That's what I want to do. Like that, that's it. Just get it like that all the way around. Uh, take them out. But it's a bit too high. I did do it because I've got to go at the side of here. So what we have to do, it's not where it's... Oh. That's root. But what I'm going to do is go around. There we go. Let's try this bit here. Nick this out. We. It's not worked completely. Look. Hmm. But uh, the idea is it was making some rocks. But what I do is you use sand to make the rock formation. That's better. That's better. Uh, and then what you can do is then change it from sand into stone because that's what I'm going to do I'm going to play around with this uh, it should have done that's a bit better uh, but uh, it's too high I was messing about with it, it's too high but if I go around just make it all go and then I will come back and show you what I ended up with because what happens is I'll change this to rock uh, once I'm happy with the outlay but it's just easier than trying to build hundreds of rocks so welcome back everybody to Jurassic World. We have done some changes which I'm going to show you very shortly before I would show you the whole park because we haven't done this view for a while. Now I've put it out to 32 chunks so I'm afraid that the uh, frame rates are really slow so I'm going to move slowly so let's come out of that view first of all and come back to normal view. Now interesting enough you won't have seen this the river the way the map is comes in round the back in between the hotel and the arena now I've got to landscape that around that side uh, and then I've also got to do another hotel and I've also I've got to work out what is between the uh, the hotel the Hilton Hotel here and the uh, Pachycephalosaurus arena so yeah, we're out at 32 chunks here, so over there you can see the water park, which we've got to get back to, but not the next episode. We're going to move away from Jurassic World, because I've done a heck of a lot, as you will see. So when we come around here, we have got the, uh, obviously, the Super Duper Visitor Center. We've got Main Street. Uh, we've redone the uh, cinema, and look. As we come round, all the paths, all the trees, everything is in place. It has all been landscaped. Dun, 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 all the way around that side. We're going to have to take a closer look at what I've done. But that's taken absolutely ages. All those trees over there. All those trees have been put in one by one. I've also been able to grow a few as well. But... They're all individual trees which have been placed. That means literally using MC Edit, paste in one at a time. So it took ages and ages. Also, let me show you the night time because I've put loads of new lighting in. So time set night, and I'm going to do that. Hey, hey! And even the pathways are lit over the back. So we're going to show that. Here you go. The sun goes down. Uh, oh, even the hotel's lit. And I've got to redo, you can see that section over here. We've got to make this go all around. And the glass is done all the way around. And the rocks are done. And the pathways. But I wanted to show you at night because I've done some changes to the lighting. Which took ages as well to put in. Uh, but what we'll do is come out of 
the uh, 32 by 32 and get the frame rates back up before we move. Right, so now I've got the frame rates back up. We can uh, get down here and show you what I've done. First of all, we're going to do a flyby uh, and I'll show you some intricacies I had to build. First of all, the pathway there that goes in between the cinema and the uh, ice cream shop over there. It's the ice cream shop or sort of gift shop. You can see now that the pathway goes round behind and I've put all the trees in. There's all sorts of different trees. Let's take a closer look. You can see, now I haven't put a gate in here. This is... This grey is the vehicular access which goes round and it's not a place where people normally walk. The, the yellow paths are where people walk. Uh, it, does, it does show a gate set back over here where we're sort of over the top of now. And then that pathway goes round and it links up with the, like the access yard at the back of the T-Rex Kingdom. Uh, and then what I've done, you can see here, put a bit of a fountain. I've got a fountain. The rocks are down here. Uh, and then you can see I've done all the way around the back of the fantastic Mosasaurus Arena. If you build something this big, and it is massive, remember, and it's got lifts, uh, the, the seating goes down under water, then you've got to be... Uh, basically spot on the fact that any of the ground behind would have been rock solid if it had cranes and all sorts of machinery in there. So let me just go over the back of here. Uh, I've had to do all the lighting on the T-Rex Kingdom. I've had to redo it. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And then you've got the station over there which has the pathway that goes down the back of the T-Rex Kingdom over there. So you can see it from this aspect and that's the the uh, monorail station and then this over here. Now what I intend to do is put some more trees at the back here. I just didn't have time and I also found some more trees so I might populate that over there as well. But uh, just to sort of finish off the main area. So let's just pop down here and I've got a little bit of a new feature in here so let's pop down uh, where we started right to buy the cinema and then let's just show you what it looks like from down there do, 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 do. are we gonna hit the water <laughs> uh, so let me just uh, say the rocks what I did here is all the glasses all the way across the front the rock area, what I've done, rather than make the rocks come down over the viewing area which is underneath, I just kept the rocks up and you can see the trees and how I put them in. Here, where the Mosasaurus Arena is, I've just put sort of some, I've got, got put, put a couple more trees in actually, let's just have a look here. Just put, I could just put a couple more, just these are the self-grow ones just like that because if you build them near rocks then it tends to be they keep keep quite low yeah there we go that one's not as high and uh, because we're sort of uh, we're here we're going to put some this is sort of an area where people don't go we can just like make it sort of nice I haven't put any flowers in because if I put any flowers in from Jurassic Raft you won't be able to see them so I might put them in as a special thing to finish off uh, there's that bit done so we let's go back to the gateways so and you can actually see this on on the film on the movie it shines this way you can see because it's right back here look you cannot see see this is where you get it and uh, you see the shack at the back but you don't see this pathway or you get an inclination it goes around here so what I wanted to do is really probably the best way to do this is just have uh, like just have sort of a some sort of gate across here or sort of line that you have to cross uh, and then put some actually gates in there that's what I probably will do that stops the people going there's like a gift shop here uh, with a counter and then you come into here and you can see that it's quite impressive. You can see through to the T-Rex Kingdom. Because there was a space here and needed some lighting, I put, uh, why have I got that on? Let's get that off, that looks a bit naff, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I left that in there as like a fountain area. Now, if you remember rightly, ooh, there's a bit, another bit I can't see. Oh, what was it then? There we go, let's get rid of that. Yeah, there's uh, just that, just that bit there, look, which I didn't do, do there. 
24. I know most of these off by art now. 24, 2. There's one there. And I just need to make sure I get that there. I haven't done uh, anything under here yet. Because I just haven't got the I haven't got the time to do it. It's taken hours and hours and hours to do all this uh, wall section. So let's show you around the back of here. There's just some trees. Probably should do some more as we go around. Just put a bit more in. I'll probably put some more flowers in in future, which is easy. That's that area there. There's the like that needs to be a gate as well to stop people coming down. Or you can walk down here. Maybe a, a fire exit. Something happens. To come out of the Mosasaurus arena. Do you remember? <laughs> For those people who've been following me for two years nearly, or 18 months, remember this was it. This is where we started, and now we've got all this. <laughs> it, it just shows if you're prepared to put in the time and energy, you can actually uh, produce some fantastic stuff in Minecraft. So let's just come down here, because there we go. Do that a minute. So we come in here. I haven't done anything of this. That's the walkway through uh, over there. And at the moment, I just again, it's one of those. Just as I showed you last time, there's this little bit here. We just need to sort of take that out, really. I suppose I could just take that out and then rebuild in. It won't actually take me very long. These little bits, uh, I just have to make sure I get them done. Because that actually won't be very hard. Because I need to do the grass. I need to put the the blue that sort of sunk a bit more hmm we got some sort of stuff down here we got cut so but that's the viewing area now much more impressive viewing area all the way around and we'll come back up through these steps so there's one step missing there we go so to come outside again we haven't put any stalls or anything here but the wall is here with the trees at the back of the uh, Mosasaurus arena so let's go all the way around here you can see the different types of trees that I've actually put in here. They're pretty cool. You've got some really big, fantastic trees. And I've used a tree pack to do that. It would take me hours to build something like that. And you can see I've got all different types of trees all the way around the back. So we sort of come around here. Eventually, there'll be a pathway from here all the way around to the Hilton Hotel. I've started putting some trees in to sort of make a walkway. Uh, I haven't, oh, I dug the, stupid me, I dug the water out, uh, but didn't fill it back in afterwards. That's what's happened there. So, one loads of things to do. Uh, so, let's come back over here to the walkway. Uh, go around the back of the cinema. Now, this is quite interesting because I've managed to keep my first ever base from the original map. If you remember, some of this is actually copied and pasted from my original map onto this new island. So there's this walkway around here. I haven't done any fancy bits. I need to put some chairs and stuff, but it's just, you can just have a stroll around the T-Rex kingdom. Uh, I quite like this. And then here I have kept, just for, for posterity, this was my first uh, area. Although my special armor's gone, if you remember, I had some real special armor. But I've decided to keep this. This is the original laboratory for the island, so I just kept it. Uh, what I've worked out is, if I'm really clever, I could probably uh, paste in uh, the laboratory back in. But look, where this access road comes from the south of the island, comes into here. Uh, I've now got a walkway that goes underneath, so you can carry on walking through this old lab here. I need to put some uh, stuff on there as well, I'll make it like TARDIS. Uh, and sort of then you can walk under the access road along here. You can see, you can think about how long since we, you know, it's only five minutes ago for you to watch this, but how long it's taken me about three days on and off to get all this. And I've started. Uh, putting in the trees here again. Now the big problem I have got, which uh, what what I'm going to have to do is landscape this, and it's getting night time, which is really good because you're busy lightning. What I've got to be able to do with this now is I've got because it's gr I've just started to start doing this, taking it out all the way around, and so doing the sort of cliff edge. In fact, what I could use is the uh, deforming tool. Yeah, and actually do that because I want to keep this road here because this was one of the roads. But look at this, look at this, look at this. So I wanted to show you this. 
So if we come through here, I've started lighting up the tree area as well. The moon is rising because that's what I want to do. Everything I build now. Uh, the, I had to do redo the lighting. There was no lighting down the corridor over there. I haven't finished that bit there. So I need to go around and sort of do some touching up now. And I can do a sort of grand tour. But I've had to sort start lighting this up. Uh, along the back here. Did that? Oh, there's one missing. There we go. I missed one. Look at that. Missed that. But there's, because the stairs inside the T Rex Kingdom. Let me just do that. There we go. There's these odd lights here because the stairs inside. And here we come into the station around here. Remember that. The station. Dun, 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 dun. So we're having a bit of a mini tour now. The monorail station with the cafe, and then the monorail goes off through the town. And uh, still need to more some landscaping around the back. So you see, around the back, back of house for the uh, arena. I need to do some more lighting again to light it all up, and then we can get it ready for the new film, Jurassic World 2. We think it will be coming back to Jurassic World. And if you think about it, it'll be probably all overgrown, will it not? It'll be overgrown. I'm thinking there. Oh my god, that was when I started building it. Yeah, it'll be all overgrown. So maybe we can have an alternative map of it all overgrown. Maybe I should bring in the people again. Do we bring the people in again? Uh, into Main Street. Ah, oh, we need some more lighting here as well, don't we? Uh, and coming back through it. Oh, I just wanted to go into this. Uh, I need to do something about this tree over here. Oh, not much lighting in here either. Interesting. Let's go back to the main entrance again. Do, 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 do. And here we go. And it's a long time since we've been in here as well. That's the thing when you get a park so big. That's not right, is it? Yeah. That's better, isn't it, like that? Oh, I probably had it blocked off. It's our log viewing area for the T-Rex. With a glass roof. No T-Rex at the moment. Goat's gone as well. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Come back down here. Where are we? We need some more lighting. And then, uh, oh, the stairwells, that's what I want to show you. Oh, there's still bits I need to tidy up this bit as well, sort of, because I take so long with these things. <gasps> these are the stairwells. Remember, there were stairwells for lighting, so that's why we got these funny, sort of, odd lights. A bit of a weird setup. So, anyway, there we go. I've still got a bit more to do, quite a bit more to do. I thought I'd done quite a lot. And, of course, also dinosaurs have all gone as well. Because uh, they just went. There's some, remember those. I'm gonna have probably should have an episode where we reintroduce all the dinosaurs back into the park, which means you get sort of a, a guided tour as such. Uh, but there we go. Right. Well, that is it, guys and girls. Thank you very much for bearing with me. It has been two weeks since I produced another episode. We are going back to Jurassic Park next episode. We have spent a lot of time on Jurassic World, but I really wanted to get that done. So now I'm going to have to do a screenshot in the daylight and then for my next screenshot. So see you all next time. Do stick with me. We've got a lot to do. Jurassic World 2 is obviously coming on, so we'll be doing some new builds with that once we get some more information. And uh, yeah, stick with me. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. And please press that like button if you like this. And please sub me if you're brand new to the channel. And if you're brand new, there's over 200 and odd videos to go and have a look at. Thanks very much and bye bye.